Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. President Biden is traveling across the United States to pitch a new $1 trillion infrastructure bill. An additional $1,400 check could be going out to millions of Social Security recipients. Friends, welcome back to my channel. Here's your daily news report and Fort Stimulus check update. Also, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and watch until the end of this video to learn how to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. President Joe Biden will visit Michigan for the first time since July in an effort to build public support for his Build Back Better agenda, including the infrastructure plan currently pending in the United States House. According to a White House press release, Biden will travel to Howell on Tuesday, October 5th. The trip will allow pooled press to attend and additional details will follow. The visit will pitch the $1 trillion infrastructure bill, which was approved 69 to 30 by the Senate back in August. The plan sends hundreds of billions of dollars to states for public work projects, including rebuilding roads, broadband internet, and water pipes. House Democrats are currently negotiating the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act with Republicans, with President Biden pledging it would get done in remarks he made on Friday at the U.S. Capitol in Washington. Another subject of President Biden's visit will be to further his Build Back Better agenda. The release stated, by speaking on how it invests in working families, paid for by repealing tax giveaways to the rich. The initially proposed $3.5 trillion government overhaul plan addresses dental, vision, and hearing care for seniors, free child care for pre-kindergarten, and climate change initiatives. Just like the infrastructure bill, this next phase of his agenda is under the deliberation and debate in Congress. So friends, do you agree with President Biden's legislative agenda? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In the days ahead, even before the default date, people may see the value of their retirement accounts shrink. They may see interest rates go up, which will ultimately raise their mortgage payments and car payments. And the American people, look, I just say it this way. As soon as this week, your savings and your, pocket, your uh, pocketbook could be directly impacted by this Republican stunt. It's as simple as that. Republicans say they will not do their part to avoid this needless calamity. So be it. But they need to stop playing Russian roulette with the U.S. economy. It's one thing to pay our debts already acquired. It's another to require a supermajority to pay the debts already acquired. It's not right. Let the Democrats vote to raise the debt ceiling this week without obstruction or further delays. Democrats in the House have already passed a bill that would do that. It's sitting in the United States Senate where Democrats have the votes ready to pass it. That's the only way to eliminate the uncertainty and risk that's going to harm American families and our economy. Let us vote and end the mess. You know, we've got to get this done. We must get this done. It is, like, as I said, playing Russian roulette to play these games. We can do it this week. Just get out of the way and let us pass it. Thank you. The 42 million Americans who collect food stamps will receive an average boost of 27% to their benefits, which began on October 1st, marking the largest increase in the history of the safety net program. The permanent increase was announced in August by the United States Department of Agriculture, which administers the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Despite the hike, most households may only see a modest rise in their benefits because a temporary 15% boost to SNAP benefits directed by the Biden administration's American Rescue Plan expired on September 30th. Still, most households will see an increase in their benefits beginning this month, October, although the timing will depend on their state's payment schedule. On average, each person will see their benefits rise by about $36 a month under the revised Thrifty Food Plan, and this is what the agency had stated. A family of four who now qualifies for food stamps could receive a maximum of $835 per month in aid, 
within the 48 states. That's compared with a maximum of $680 for a family of four just prior to the boost. During the month of August, the Agriculture Department said it had reviewed the so-called Thrifty Food Plan, which is a budget developed in the 1960s to determine how much people need to spend for a nutritionally adequate diet for short-term or emergency use, and sided with critics who said it failed to reflect people's nutritional needs and food prep time. So for instance, the Thrifty Food Plan had assumed food stamp recipients have only about two hours a day to spend on food preparation. Real households receiving SNAP benefits spend an average of less than one hour a day preparing meals. Friends, the key word for this video is salad. If you are interested in entering this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment below the keyword. Thank you so much, everyone. The Senior Citizens League, which is one of the largest nonpartisan senior citizens advocacy groups, currently has over a million signatures for a petition to garner support and attention for an emergency $1,400 stimulus check to cope with unprecedented inflation. Among the arguments in the petition is that the COLA increases are not suitable enough for seniors who are living on a fixed income with the 5% inflation surge experienced over the past 13 months. The petition adds, in 2021, Social Security benefits increased by just 1.3%, raising the average benefit by only about $20 a month. But about 86% of Social Security recipients surveyed say that their expenses increased by much more than that amount. A $1,400 check will definitely help senior citizens afford groceries on an already tight fixed income. Roughly 25% of low-income seniors reported food insecurity. Social Security recipients are expected to receive a 6% COLA increase in 2022, one of the largest on record. But rising inflation and Medicare costs are thought to eat away most of it. So a fourth stimulus check could help struggling seniors recover from a bad year of surging prices and supply chain blockages that are hurting the prospect of recovery just for basic grocery items. Friends, thank you so much for joining me here this morning. I greatly appreciate every one of you who are watching my videos. And if you would like to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment below the keyword. Thank you so much, friends, and have a very blessed week.